Hello my Wolfpack and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Competitive Guide videos and today we're covering Chien Pao or Chien Pio. not quite sure how to say it, I'm going to say Chien Pao, I think that's how you say it but uh, if I am wrong please do correct me in the comments section below. This thing has been so showing so much uh, capability in any kind of battle so it's got a huge attack stat and a huge speed stat which realistically allows it to do a lot of different things. Now let's take a look at its useful moves in both singles and doubles. So singles, you've got acrobatics. If you get rid of your item, it doubles in power, which is a really handy move, especially when you've got a four times weakness to fighting type as well. That really work, would work as a combination move to use. Avalanche, now Avalanche is a minus priority, but it does double if you've taken damage in that turn, so that could be really handy. Brick Break to break any screens because screens do come, come and go. Uh, crunch, powerful stab, dark type move. Facade, just in case you get status, it can double in power. Haze to get rid of any setups. Now, if there's a mod that's like setting up things like um, Iron Defense, you can get rid of that. You are using Haze. Ice Fang, a bit of a weak attack based on the other ones, but still usable. Ice Shard has priority, which allows you to obviously go before any other Pokemon. Ice Spinner, powerful Ice type attack, uh, boosted by Stab. Same with Icicle Crash, a little bit more powerful, and the chance to flinch. Psychic Fangs again covers that fighting type weakness pretty darn well. Recover allows you to heal yourself up um, each turn um, you, that you uh, use it. Obviously, 50% of your health. Ruination, you get rid of 50% of the opponent's health. Sucker Punch, a priority move. It does rely on the opponent actually using an attacking move though. And then Swords Dance to double your uh, attack stat, which obviously already is quite high. If you double that, it's going to be sweeping lots of different things. And finally, on the singles, we've got Throat Shot. Throat Shot gets rid of any um, sound-based moves. Pokemon cannot use them for two turns. Now, with the case of things like Throat Spray, definitely really handy. And also with things like Torch Song, again, a pretty handy move to have. In terms of doubles, we have got a couple of handy moves. So you've got Snarl, which allows you to lower down the special attack of the opponent's Pokemon. Um, you've got Protect which is a pretty standard move. Icy Wind to lower down the speed of the opponent's Pokemon and Haze to get rid of any uh, changes to status conditions, which, um, or status to stats, which actually is very, very handy to use, um, especially with things like Dodon Dodonzo around. Now, in terms of Terra type, there are a few different Terra types you can run with this thing. You can just run things like generic, like, um, I don't know, for example, you could run an Electric Terra type, then you've only got the ground weakness, and then um, obviously you have the ice type to cover that. So if you want to go for that, that's that's definitely a really valid terror type to use. Um, in retrospect, I didn't actually put it on, but yeah, that should be on there. Electric type is probably the best terror type. But you have got things like water terror type, which allows you to cover things like um, your rock weakness and allows you, um, and also your fire weakness, and also allows you just to generally take a lot less damage from a lot of different Pokemon. Obviously, you can hit grass type super effective damage with your ice type attack. And um, you can't do that with uh, your alleged types, but um, you can still do damage to them in some way, shape, or form. You've also got flying type. Now, this is mostly focused on getting rid of those fighting types. You are times four weak to that. If you can turn to a flying type, obviously you're taking less damage from that. Um, but you do still obviously have issues with things like rock types um, and potentially some other types as well. Not to mention. Um, obviously the struggle that comes with things like steel types um, if you try to use terror blast and stuff like that then finally i'll put the fairy type on here as well again think about that coverage for the fighting type and it also gets rid of a lot of your weaknesses however you do still retain the steel type weakness so you do need to be cautious of that so i would say actually electric type really really good then followed by the water type and then there's a couple other types there that could definitely work for you but you can play around you can figure out um, what personally would work for you so moving on to the sets for Chien Pao, we've got five sets, three of them are um, your standard single sets, one gimmick set and one double set. So obviously the main thing that's making this such a massive hit is the ability Sword of Ruin. Now the defense stat of all other active Pokemon is multiplied by 0.75, essentially meaning that you have increased power on um, your attack because they're going to have a lower defense stat meaning that you are going to be able to do a lot of damage to that pokemon so this thing absolutely destructive what i've done for the first set is i've chucked a choice band on it realistically 1.5 times in your attack stat is going to be amazing not many pokemon will outspeed you um at base 135 speed that is typically a, a very very high speed um and if you go with the plus speed nature you will outspeed the vast majority of pokemon there uh, but the choice band here 
allows you to get more power out. You've got Crunch, powerful Dark type moves boosted by Stab. Icicle Crash, powerful Ice type move boosted by Stab. Also has the chance to flinch. Sacred Sword, which I didn't actually put in the um, useful moves. Sacred Sword is a useful move that it can have. Obviously a fighting type move and ignores the target stat changes as well. So if this is trying to set up something like an Iron Defense, you can just Sacred Sword that and it's not going to be a problem. And I've also put Psychic Fangs on this one. Psychic Fangs because that is super effective against those fighting types which you are really weak to. Now, obviously with this, you're realistically going to outspeed the vast majority of Pokemon. So, um, in terms of your speed, go for the max speed investment with your EVs and max attack investment with your uh, EVs as well. As you're going with the Choice Band, I recommend that you go for the Jolly Nature. So more speed, less special attack, and um, a little bit of EV into the Special Defense 4 EV specifically. If you decide to go for Choice Scarf because you're a bit concerned, you could definitely go for um, the Adam Nature, some more attack, less special attack. But it depends how you're running your team and how it's going to work for you specifically with the other Monchu. You are running, sorry, but hiccup. Okay, moving on to the second one. Now I've put Heavy Duty Boots onto this because realistically it takes a lot of damage when it comes in. Um, now with this, I've put the Swords Dance set on. So Swords Dance allows you to double your uh, attack stat from 339 to 700 and something. No, not 700, something. 678, I think, maybe. That's, that's, that seems about right. But huge, huge attack stat, meaning that any other move that you use is just going to be so destructive. Psychic Fangs is a no-brainer on this thing because it is a huge, huge benefit when you've got that four times weakness to fighting types and they are most likely to switch in. You've got Ice Spinner, powerful ice type attack boosted by Stab. Um, I thought that was coverage as well for the um, Icicle, uh, Icicle Crash, whatever it was. I feel like I've said that wrong, but you know, the one that I said earlier, you've then got Sucker Punch on here as well. You could face this with like Crunch or something, but I thought Sucker Punch does work quite nicely as well. EV wise, you've got Max Attack and Max Speed with a tip Jolly Nature, so more speed, less special attack, and four EVs and special defense. I would recommend going the Plus Speed Nature here because it just allows you to outspeed as many Pokemon as possible. You are quite frail, you're not going to live many hits, so realistically, um, being kind of that way, uh, max speed, it will allow you to ideally live longer than um, without that. Moving on to the third GM power, I've gone for a choice spec set. Now base 90 special attack isn't too bad and this will also catch your opponent off guard. So what I've done here is I have put the choice specs on here, um, obviously it will give you 1.5 times in your special attack. You've then got Dark Pulse, powerful dark type attack, boosted by stab. Blizzard, powerful ice type attack, again boosted by stab. Hex, which if you've got something like a Glamora using uh, Toxic Debris or just setting up Toxic Spikes in general, that Hex can do double power, which would be absolutely fantastic. And I've also put Terra Blast in here. I specifically put Terra Fairy for this one, um, just to get that coverage specifically for uh, the fighting types. But you could definitely go for something along the ideas of Psychic or Flying if you wanted to as an alternative. It's, it's, it's down to you what you decide to go for. But I thought this would be an interesting set to run. Uh, obviously, you don't get the Sword of Ruin um, support that you would normally get. But, you know, definitely you could consider running this to just play games with your opponent. Um, and this is much more of a fun set. The first two sets typically are going to be your more common ones. But this one, a bit more of a fun set. Um, in terms of EVs, max special attack, max speed. I still recommend the Timid Nature um, or the Plus Speed Nature because outspeeding things is definitely going to be far better. Now, a bit more of a gimmicky one that would be really interesting is the idea of a Swords Dancing Recovering Ice Sharder. So, the idea with this set is that you would set up one, two, three Swords Dancers, you would recover as and when you need, and then you could taunt the opponent to stop them from setting up or stop them from doing other shenanigans. Um, also, stopping them from being able to use Hades, for example. But if we um, Swords Dance, we can double our attack stat from 372 to 700 and whatever, and then triple it, and then quadruple it. Now, obviously you're going to take damage there, so you would recover that off. This works even better if you have screens from a light, crate, light play user um, up. That would be uh, really, really fantastic, but it's an opportunity for you to run. Taunt, as I said, just to stop things from um, setting up and causing problems. And then, realistically, when you're at times 4, having that Ice Shard, that is going to obliterate the vast majority of Pokemon um, that you are going to see. Now, with this set, you don't need to be faster because the only attacking move you're going to use is a priority. So, in terms of your speed investment, you don't need any. I would recommend going for the max HP instead to allow you to live as many attacks as possible, then going for the attack stat at maximum possible 
uh, rate at 372. Regardless, the Ice Shard is still going to do a lot of damage to the vast majority of Pokemon, but if you can get one, maybe two Swords Dancers set up, you are going to be uh, flying and going to be causing so many problems for the opponent. So that is definitely what I would recommend personally um, in terms of a little bit of a gimmick set, but I think this definitely would work. Moving on to the final one, we have got um, a double set. So we've got leftovers on here. Um, you can run any variety of items on the double sets. Now I chuck leftovers on the support Pokemon a lot, but you can obviously run the sweeping set, but you can also run uh, in terms of the support set. So I've got Icy Wind to slow down the opposing Pokemon, along with having obviously the idea of your ally. If your ally is a little bit slower, that Icy Wind, you'll go first, you'll slow down the opposing Pokemon, and then realistically your ally will then go second and cause problems for your opponents. Snarl to lower down the special attack of your opponents because realistically lowering down stats and doubles seems to be really, really um, effective. That's what that's how I kind of worked around with a lot of things. Recover because getting health back is important, and Haze, um, especially when looking at Dondo Dondozo. I think is it Dondozo? I, I, I really don't know tonight, but yeah. Um, Haze, just to get rid of stat changes, um, Tatsugiri Dondozo um, is a massive uh, thing in doubles at the minute, so obviously being able to Haze that is really important. In terms of EVs, um, as this one's a special set, you can go for max um, special attack, max speed, uh, with a timid nature, more speed, less attack, and four EVs and special defense. Obviously, as I said, you can definitely run the first two sets as well in terms of doubles, um, particularly things like a choice band set, and just kind of blitz through the Pokemon whilst having like a support Pokemon, let's say something that has Rage Powder, uh, maybe an Amoongus next to it. That would work really effectively. And that's going to be all today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Anyways, I'm going to get off here, so have a good one, and I'll see you soon.